Welcome guys to my YouTube channel. My name is Vasa Olga. In today's video, we're going to be talking about some makeup products that I will toss and some skincare products that I will toss and either it's an expiration date or it's just because I'm out of this product. Will I repurchase this? It's that easy. We're going to start with the star of the show, the star of this video. It's going to be from Essence. This is Keep It Perfect Makeup Fixing Spray Hydrated with Hyaluronic Acid. It's free from oil and alcohol and all of this Essence fixing sprays are free from alcohol and oil. That's what I really love and it fixed in my makeup pretty well. I mean, till the rest of the day, my makeup looks quite good. I mean, in terms of wearing something for six, maybe not even six, eight plus hours. And um, I really love it. This is inexpensive. This is doing their job and I quite like it. This is probably the fifth or sixth bottle. You can choose other designs. You can choose other formulas, but it's just Essence Fix and Spray. Quite like it. And then we're going to a little bit different product. This is Anti age eraser concealer from Maybelline and I show it a lot on my channel. I'm almost out of the product. You can see that there's not much left this amount and I have some leftovers. I use this concealer to prime my lids. It might not be the best option but I do this on um, some basis where I don't really go out anywhere and I just film for you. It does leave a couple of marks and stains at the end of the day probably. That's why it's not gonna be my first ever option. The first option is gonna be from NYX primer but it's still not a bad choice. I do not use this Maybelline eraser for my under eye area. I did use it a couple of times and then I realized it was too thick. I don't really like thick formulas. They get into creases pretty fast and that's why I avoid thick formulas, thick concealers. I use them for my lid as a primer. So not a huge fan, but in case you wonder what you should do with this, use it as a primer. I I'm gonna be talking about rich moisturizer Odd Mail and Odd Lipid from Beauty Bay. I know that Beauty Bay, they have nice formulas. We're talking about eyeshadows and moisturizers. It's, it's nice. The smell is weird, honestly, and it's not because it's expired. The smell was weird the whole time because it's probably the Odd Mail scent. I don't know. Uh, it's rich, but it's super rich. I used this moisturizer on my days when I had super dry skin, especially around my cheeks and when it was literally flaking off. That was my saver and I really like this moisturizer, but if I used a little bit too much or over my forehead, it could break me. Like I kind of forgot about this moisturizer, that's why it's expired, and I don't really like using expired skincare. One thing is makeup and lipsticks and something like this, and I can wipe it off, but sec but it's a little bit different about skincare that is soaking into your face. I quite honestly, I'm gonna be talking about this Caudalie. 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 I don't know uh, what is the name. Um, it's quite it's quite famous brand actually, and it is expired a little bit. And I used this once for the entire face. It it literally break me the next day, and I couldn't get rid of this pimple for quite a long period of time that was right here sitting over my forehead. Uh, the only difference between this Beauty Bay, it's affordable, it's great, but if you have oily skin, I don't really think this is going to be an option for you. If you have dry skin, it might work as well. It's not expensive, but I can't say this moisturizer is my holy grail because I can use it for the other parts of my face but my cheeks. and. Uh, I actually like this product, but will I repurchase this? I don't know. I'm onto something right now. I'm using my Nivea cream with a mix of canola oil, and I shared this in one of my previous videos. So I'm not really sure that I'm going to this anytime soon, but it's not a bad product. What about this product? This is a tester. This is a not a real product. Um, actually, I small story behind this purchase. It wasn't a purchase, actually. A couple of years ago, I worked for an embassy, and we had a great woman and my colleague we wanted to prepare a present for her and um, we went sort of shopping together and we were searching for a present we talked to consultants and they recommended these product first of all it wasn't cheap okay so let's start with this it wasn't cheap product at first then second of all i remember these consultants i was furious i hate walking around shops. It, it might sound crazy and weird, not like a girly girl type. I hate shopping. I hate shopping malls. 
I do. It all it's always hot there and I'm, I'm getting tired, my back is in pain, and I don't really like, you know, just going and searching around for some outfits, for some stuff. That's not me, I don't really like it. My husband hates that as well. So when we went there to the mall, um, it was Sephora if I'm mistaken, but I'm not really sure. Maybe something different, and the consultants, and my colleague, she was literally searching over and over and over again. I got so tired, she's like, what if we do this one? And the consultant, yes, yeah, it's not a bad option, and then what if we do this one, and this one, and this one. And I felt like a real man in the shop, where you have a wife that can't stop looking for a product that she doesn't even know what she has in her head. And we spent there literally like 40 or 50 minutes. I was tired, exhausted, the consultants were like nodding, in understanding and finally when we managed to find the product they gave us these testers these are huge testers actually first of all this is instant ferment serum i tried this out i haven't noticed a huge difference that's why i have no idea if she paid that much money it's moisturizing your skin quite well to be honest but as well as my moisturizing uh, nivea cream with a little bit of canola oil pretty much similar result that's why i don't really think you should spend that much money on this certain product. I used this a couple of times and I was even halfway through. I don't really, I can't say this is my favorite product. This is definitely not my, not my favorite product. Then I have, this is grape oil, grape seed oil. And I did use this quite a lot of times. Not a grape. Oh, it's actually current oil. I can't say this is the best oil I've ever used, but this is a not bad option. Right now I have canola oil. That's why I kind of switched from this current oil to my canola oil. Another bottle of this sun cream. This is Korean brand with SPF 50 and PA++ something. I really love it. It's super light on my skin. It's moisturizing my, my skin quite well. And this is probably the third or the fourth um, sun cream from this brand. This is a Korean brand, South Korea, I believe, and maybe you can find something similar, light, very nurturing. And when I apply my makeup, it doesn't have this white leftovers from your cream over your face when you apply makeup, when it has the tendency with heavy and let's say rich oily sun creams. This is very light, this is really good. I can't say if it's just the best solution as a sun cream, are you gonna get tanned or something? Is it gonna protect you? But as far as I can tell, I used that so many times and that I had no issues, no breakages, no problems. Very good product. I have another one right now and uh, this is new. I haven't opened it yet. Then we have Catrice 24 hour uh, eyeliner. I am obsessed with this eyeliner. It's super, super good. I love the wand and it's so easy to apply. I have t I have some leftovers, but from a little bit different liner. If you're searching for an affordable product, an affordable eyeliner that is not living marks and stains, and I, I have quite oily lids at the end of the day. It's really good product, really nice. Um, with coconut water, long lasting 24 hour brush liner from Catrice. Obsessed, I love it. And you can see that I have a lot of different videos on my channel using this eyeliner and it was great. And I have two more products to share. Uh, this is gonna be from Makeup, Makeup Revolution. This is Freedom Be Free to Makeup Professional London. I have five of this lipsticks. They're sheer, they're not full coverage lipsticks. And uh, I purchased a little bit different, this is another color, though they're super, super similar. And I purchased a little bit different lipstick from Makeup Forever, and it has pretty much similar color and similar formula. It is sort of bomb. And um, I was thinking, why would I need three absolutely identical colors if I can leave one makeup forever and this I will probably give to my cousin or maybe sister it's a similar formula to Givenchy product if you watched one of my videos you know what I'm talking about where I was disappointed in the formula of Givenchy that it was you know showing the lips a lot this is the same problem that's why I'm sticking with my one formula I actually do have three more colors from Makeup Revolution the same series and I purchased them for some chicken peas honestly maybe two three dollars for five lipsticks. I'm living the lipsticks that I don't really have in my collection, something um, similar, I'm, I'm, but I'm throwing something that I have uh, in my collection as a shade color 
as you will. And this is pretty much it, guys. I love you so much. I hope this video was helpful because I do collect some of the products that I'm not using for you to show just because I know uh, it might be handy for some of you guys to know which of the products are good and I use them over and over again and which of these products are not good. And I guess this is pretty much it. Love you all, guys. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.